welcome to the new module related to the um, accident research and investigation. So, by this way we are starting a new chapter for accident investigation. Now, accident investigation is uh, very vital because uh, it gives you proper information that uh, what went wrong and how we can uh, change the things so that uh, it should not happen in uh, future. So, in this particular module, we are going to study about the accidents, uh, we will study about the accident wheat, then accident studies, we will have a discussion about the accident near misses, uh, uh, this, this word we have already discussed in previous modules. We will discuss about the various kind of dangerous uh, occurrences and uh, what is the an outcome of uh, the accident. Then we will discuss about the accident causation theories, uh, what are the different theories applicable for this accident causation. So, let us have a look about that what is an accident. Now, usually we had uh, discussed previously something, but uh, the synchronized definition is that this is an unplanned, unwanted, but controllable event which is which disrupts the work process and cause injury, death and or damage to the property, equipment or materials to people. So, in a nutshell if you see that uh, this may uh, attribute to the entire economic loss of a particular plant or a country or anything else what you can say. So, they all accidents they have a cause and effect. This is the rule of thumb and this is this point needs to be remembered throughout this particular chapter. Now, an incident may disrupt the work process, but does not result in injury or a damage. It should be looked as a wake up call. Sometimes it is referred as a, uh, near miss etcetera. So, it can be thought of as the first of a series of event, which could lead to a situation in which harm or damage may occur. Now, just for a sake of an example, a 25 kilogram of a carton falls off a top shelf of a 12 feet high rack and lands near the worker. Now, this event is unplanned, unwanted and has the potential for injury. So, suppose if it falls to the head of this particular worker, then the problem would have been more severe. So, that means, it presently in the present context, it is not having any impact towards the injury or damage, but it should be looked as a wake up call. So, while considering uh, the accident, it is just like uh, a pyramid structure. You may have uh, n number of hazardous conditions that is uh, the biggest percentage of injury causing potential like this we have discussed about the, the fall of um, this carton. Then you may have uh, uh, various close calls. So, in this uh, you may need to perform several investigations you need to conduct so that you can minimize these hazardous conditions. You may have a lesser number of minor injuries and sometimes it may happen that the cross section of this particular box may uh, fall at uh, the back part of uh, this worker. So, uh, the minor injury may call, sometimes it may have uh, severe injuries. So, uh, when you are carrying out this, the most accident investigations usually they are conducted in from minor injury to the several injury and this may lead to a couple of uh, fatalities. So, you can say this is the pyramid structure when you are having several hazardous conditions, it may be n in number, then a bit lower number in uh, 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 lower in number, those are the close calls, then the minor injuries and the fatality. So, if you start the things right from the hazardous condition, then you can minimize or you can reduce the size of this particular pyramid. This is the basic concept of this particular accident analysis. Now, usually accidents do not just happen. So, most workplace injuries and illness they are not due to accident, 
So, let us take the mythical 25 kilogram of cartoon though falling from 12 feet of uh, for the second time. So, only this time it hits the worker this causing injury predictable yes of course preventable of course because you knew the things a priori. So, accident is defined as an unexpected unintentional event uh, that is uh, that it was just bad luck. So, more often than not it is a predictable or foreseeable eventually. Now, the accidents uh, they have two things in common one they all have outcome from the accident they all have a contributory factor that cause the accident. So, these two things are very important while considering the accident investigation. There are some other facts related to the accidents that employer should investigate an accident to determine the root cause because if you are having several hazardous conditions then obviously, you have taken care of those hazardous condition. So, uh, anything like uh, if you take the exam previous example, uh, whenever any person who put it uh, this uh, particular cartoon to the top of the Almira, then he never thought about that it will fall down. So, it may be the hazardous conditions, but uh, it is uh, uh, the person is in uh, the thought that he has taken all kind of safety precaution, but accidentally it, uh, it fell down. So, uh, employers should investigate an accident that to determine the root cause and use the information to stop process and behaviors that could just as easily have resulted in an accident. So, it can be predictable the logical outcome of the hazards. Now, like if you touch uh, the hot pan you will be burned. Now, if the corner of the stainless steel counter is sharp it will cut someone. So, you must analyze and you must have a proper information so that the corrective measures can be taken. So, we can say those accidents are predictable and preventable events. So, when you are performing any kind of correctable uh, measures then it is the preventable events. Now, preventable and avoidable hazards do not have to exist. For example, putting the boxes in a pathway will cause someone to fall wearing heat proof gloves when cleaning the fryer or a pan or a grill will avoid a burn. So, they are caused by the things people do or fail to do. Now, uh, there are several other things uh, which uh, you need to know while carrying out any accident investigation. Do not investigate only accidents, incidents should also be reported and investigated like the tip of uh, iceberg this is the accident. The accident or injury at the top tip of uh, the iceberg or hazard. Now, the incident is that investigate incidents since they are potential accidents in progress. So, something may be hidden and something may appear at the top. So, you need to go into deep or in detail. Now, it is uh, just like uh, the accident weed. Now, there are several root causes like this and they may attribute to the fruits or the leaves that is an outcome. Like uh, the root causes these roots may not result in an accident, but do contribute it. Like this there may be a chance of a poor work procedure, somebody not uh, having the proper follow up or not given the proper feedback, there may be a chance of a lack of a training. Some times the lack of training and the person is not acclimatized to handle the scenario because of the lack of training training that it may it may come in in the form of an accident then there may be a chance of a poor safety management sometimes it may be attributed to the purchasing of uh, unsafe equipments because sometimes due to the economic aspect you may not be in a position to uh, spend much money towards the safety of the equipment then there may be a chance of lack of supervision this may lead to the proper uh, uh, unfair housekeeping. Uh, every equipment every process uh, conditions they are having the set of rules need to be followed during the course of action and uh, uh, somebody or 
all the things uh, all the rules are violated then there may be a chance that there is a lack of uh, safety leadership then the poor safety le leadership may be just because of uh, uh, hesitation or reluctancy so uh, these are the several uh, root causes uh, those are attributed towards the hazardous conditions so when we talk about all these root causes uh, there are certain things uh, which may come out like may be attributed with there may be no material safety data sheets sometimes it may be lead to the equipment failure sometimes uh, because you have purchased some unsafe equipment sometimes it may come out in terms of uh, uh, defective tools it may lead to the poor housekeeping sometimes it may have a missing guard etc so these you can clearly visualize similarly there may be certain horse play ignored the safety rules because you are not having the rules in enforcement or this may be attributed to the lack of safety leadership so because you are having a lackness in the safety leadership so you may not be in a position to follow the safety protocols or procedures you did not the report the hazard when it was noticed um, like uh, the fall of uh, box or a cartoon from the 12 feet high uh, almira then somebody those uh, uh, who may observe they sh they should report to the officers or they should report to the supervisors that don't please don't put uh, uh, this box at the top because it may be dangerous to somebody else and because of the lack of training somebody don't, they don't know how to handle the thing so these are the various uh, hazardous uh, practice so one should know that this type of uh, accident weed now uh, the accident studies is again a very integral part of this investigation so in all cases uh, the non injury incidents uh, they had the potential to become events with more serious consequences now such uh, ratios uh, clearly demonstrate that the safety um, effort should be aimed in all accidents including unsafe practices at the bottom of the pyramid when resulting improvement in upper tiers so peterson in 1978 uh, in defining the principles of uh, management and he said that uh, an unsafe act an unsafe condition and accident are symptoms of something wrong within the management's system so he gave this uh, particular specific uh, definition so all events they represent a degree of failure in control and are potential learning experience so it is therefore follow uh, that all accident should be investigated to some extent or sometimes it is referred at the same extent so this extent should be determined by the loss potential how much is having the potential towards the loss so rather than just the immediate effect because this uh, uh, loss potential aspect will give you the futuristic aspect now there are basic ty uh, type of various accidents like minor accidents such as a paper cuts to finger or dropping a box of material which we had discussed now the more serious accidents that cause the injury or damage to equipment or properties such as forklift dropping a load or someone falling off a ladder now sometimes accident that occur over an extended uh, time frame such as uh, hearing loss or illness resulting from exposure to chemical so there are damage or injury uh, due to accident this includes sprain uh, laceration now laceration is a deep cut or tear in the skin or you can say uh, any type of uh, criticizing things etc then you may have a, a broken bone then you may have a concussion that is the mild traumatic brain injury which can cause head or brain to shake quickly back and for you may have some unconsciousness you may have experienced the ill health there may be a chance of damage to building there may be a chance of damage to to property sometimes you may experience the sickness due to the exposure to a dangerous substance fume or gases fire explosion etc 
Sometimes one may feel sickness due to chemical spill or environmental uh, pollution. Now, let us have a look about the accident those who are near miss. So, um, sometimes it is also referred as a near hit. Uh, an accident that does not result any injury or a property damage, but could have as the potential for serious consequences exist. Now, remember the near miss is just a serious, just as serious as an accident. Sometimes it may refer as just escaped. Sometimes if you are crossing a road and some uh, fast moving vehicle just, just uh, uh, come across, then sim, uh, on the immediate action you may say that, oh God, that means just escape from that particular accident. So, remember these near misses is just as serious as an accident and it gives you a proper learning, it gives you a message that gentlemen something is not correct. Now, there are dangerous occurrences. Now, these dangerous occurrences are one number of specific reportable adverse events with high potential to cause death or serious injury, but which happen relatively infrequently. Now, these dangerous occurrences are reportable to the health and safety authorities uh, uh, HSA which are uh, related to your local area or national area etcetera. Now, there are uh, uh, several dangerous occurrences like dangerous occurrences they usually include uh, incidents involving lifting of an equipment sometimes related to the pressure system, sometimes attributed to the overhead electric lines electrical incidents causing explosion or fire, explosion biological agents, radiation generators and radiography, they may be attributed to the breathing apparatus, diving operation, sometimes collapse of scaffolding, um, sometimes it may be attributed to the even uh, train collision, pipeline or pipeline works, sometimes they are attributed to the wells or sometimes reservoirs, etcetera. Now, remember one thing that all accidents are incidents. So, however, the definition of an incident is wider in that it includes dangerous occurrence and near misses. There are several outcomes of accidents. The negative aspect of an accident outcome, they are named as like injury and a possible death or a fatality. So, again it is a very serious because uh, it may be a criminal offence or sometimes the company need to pay a heavy compensation. Sometimes it may be attributed to disease, sometimes it is related to the damage to equipment and a property, sometimes company or industry may suffer the litigation cost and a possible citations that could uh, adversely affect the image of that particular industry. Above all, they may have uh, a chances of lost productivity because uh, the production is on the negative side. So, side. so sometimes it may happen that uh, the company may out of the business. It reduces or uh, it uh, diminishes the morale of uh, the company management as well as the company workers. The positive aspect of uh, the accident outcomes, they are like proper accident investigation. So, you can prevent uh, the reoccurrence of accident because if you properly investigate the things then you can find out the root causes uh, and subsequent consequences so that you can prevent the reoccurrence of that accident. Then uh, this proper accident uh, investigation or outcome may compel the company management to change the safety programs because uh, if uh, uh, there is any lacuna in that safety program, this may again uh, may lead to the accident. Then sometimes it may refer the company management to change the operating procedures. Sometimes uh, you may use a lesser hazardous substance. Sometimes you may use the lesser flammable substances, etc. And based on these two change to safety program and a change of procedure, sometimes you may need to even change the equipment design so that you can operate the things in a less hazardous manner. 
So, ultimately you can prevent the, the reoccurrence of any accident. So, that is why the outcome of accident is extremely important. So, let us have uh, uh, the discussion about uh, the incident investigation. So, when incidents are investigated, the emphasis should be concentrated on finding the root cause of the incident. So, it can prevent the event from uh, happening again or a recurrence. The purpose is to find the facts that can lead to the corrective actions and not to find any kind of fault. You need always look to for a deeper cause, do not simply record the steps of the event. So, one must apply his, his or her own brain. Now, the reason to investigate a workplace uh, incident, this includes the most importantly to find out the cause of incident and to prevent uh, the similar incident in future. Because uh, if you recall this particular slide, the cause of accident will give you major impetus towards these three aspects like change to safety program, change to procedure and uh, change to equipment design. So, you must have some ground to adopt these three things. The purpose is to find the fact that it can lead to corrective action and not to find the fault. So, always look for a deeper cause, do not simply record the steps of cause. Now, another reason to investigate the workplace incident include the, the most important to find out the cause of incident and to prevent similar incident in future. Now, because sometimes the legal requirement play a very vital role. So, uh, and uh, all industries they are compelled to follow all kind of legal requirement may be the state level or maybe the national level or maybe to the global level. So, it is mandatory to fulfill any legal requirement that may lead to the accident investigation. Now, to determine the cost of an incident that means uh, partially you are performing the economic analysis. To determine the compliances uh, which the applicable regulations that is occupational health and safety, sometimes if in case of fatality or injury, you may have to encounter the criminal proceedings, etc. Uh, uh, to process the workers compensation claim, because whenever there is an injury or a illness or a fatality, then definitely there may be a chance that the process workers may seek the compensation maybe towards their medical bill, maybe towards the one time settlement, etc. So, that is why uh, the, these are the reasons to investigate a workplace. Now, let us have the accident causes and uh, first of all this is the root cause analysis. So, an investigator or a team who believe that accidents are caused by unsafe condition, they will likely to try to uncover the conditions as cause. So, one who believes that they are caused by unsafe act will attempt to find the human error that are causes and uh, therefore, it is necessary to examine all underlying factors in a chain of event that tends uh, that, that ends in an incident. Now, many models uh, of uh, causation have been proposed ranging from Hendrick domino theory to the sophisticated management oversight and risk tree that is referred as MORT each of uh, which has uh, some explanatory and predictive values like the domino theory, uh, human factor theory, accident incident theory, um, epidemiological theory, system theory, multiple causation theory, pure chance theory, based liability theory, accident proneness theory. So, these are the several uh, um, theories being predicted in due course of time for accident causes. So, let us have a look about the Hendrick Domino's theory. Now, W. H. Hendrick, a safety engineer and a pioneer in the field of industrial and accident safety, he developed this uh, domino uh, theory in 1931. So, according to this uh, theory, almost 88 percent of all accidents are caused by unsafe acts of people, 10 percent by unsafe action and 2 percent by acts of God, maybe natural calamity, etcetera. So, he proposed a five factor accident sequence in which each factor would actuate the next step in the manner of toppling dominoes lined up in a row. 
Now, the sequence of uh, accident factors uh, are as follows like ancestry or uh, social environment, worker fault, the unsafe act together with the mechanical and the physical hazard, the accident and damage to injury. So, these are depicted in this uh, uh, particular uh, figure. Another is uh, the Farrell's human factor model. Now, Farrell he defined the accident in terms of uh, being the result of an error by an individual and he explained this theory using the assumption that uh, accidents are caused by one person. Now, Farrell identifies this uh, the three general uh, causes of accident. One is the overload, second is the incompatibility and third is the improper activities. So, each of these, uh, these are actually broad categories that contain several more specific causes. Now, this is the human factor theory and all three aspects are enlisted over here. Now, overload may be the environmental factors they are attributed there may be certain internal factors and uh, sometimes it may be a situational factor. The inappropriate responses they are detecting the hazard, but not correcting it. Then the removing safeguards from the machines and equipment sometimes it may happen when um, um, they may there, there is a uh, wear and tear sometimes you may uh, you are compelled to remove any kind of guard or a fencing etc and the, uh, uh, from the chain pulley system etc and sometimes it may happen because of the ign uh, ignoring the safety aspects or the safety rules then there are certain inappropriate activities like the performing task without the requisite training that is the lack of uh, safety management, then misjudging the degree of risk involved with the, a given task. So, this is this table gives you the human factor theory that we have enlisted some couple of examples of each aspect like overload, inappropriate uh, reasons and inappropriate activities. So, let us have a uh, brief discussion about uh, these this model that is improper activities usually it is, is the perhaps the simplest of the concept. Now, it encompasses two straightforward source of accident. One is it is possible that the responsible person simply did not know any better. Alternatively, he or she may have known that an accident may result from an action, but deliberately choose to take that particular risk. So, if you are innovative or if you are enthusiastic, then you may uh, uh, be in a position to take these risks deliberately. The incompatibility cause is slightly more complex than improper activities. Now, it encompasses an incorrect response to a situation by an individual and subtle environment uh, characteristics such as workstation that is incorrectly sized. The third is the overload. Now, this is the most complex of uh, uh, feral causes. It can further be broken down into three subcategories. The emotional state of the individual accounts which include condition like unmotivated and agitated. Now, agitation may be attributed to the various reasons. Somebody may be suffered from the home problems and may be at the work, uh, workplace problem, etcetera. So, it has it is having a large spectrum. Now, second aspect is the capacity. This capacity refers to the individual's physical and educational background, physical fitness, training and even genetics plays uh, a vital role. The situational factor uh, such as uh, exposure to drugs and pollutants uh, as well as job related stress and pressure, they also affects one's capacity. The third one is uh, the load of uh, uh, an individual, this can also be contrib major contributor. Now, this includes the difficulty of the task, the negative or a positive effects of uh, the environment, maybe noise, uh, distraction, etc., and even the danger level of uh, the task. So, this is uh, the main contributor towards the overload. Uh, another model is uh, attributed to the Dan Peterson accident uh, or incident model. So, the Peterson's 
model is largely an expansion upon human factor model. Now, Peterson conceptualized the environmental aspect of incompatibility like workstation design, display, control, etc. So, as a different part of the model, they are calling them the ergonomic traps and nowadays uh, various companies, they are play, uh, paying much attention towards the this environmental aspect. He also uh, separated a decision to err uh, uh, from the overload cause. Further, he also introduced a new element that is called the system failure. Now, this system failure attributed the inability of the organization to correct errors and this was added as a possible mediator between errors and accidents. So, overload, ergonomic trap and decision to err lead to human error. So, in this particular module, we had discussed about the basic broad definition of accident, the accident investigation protocol. We have gone through the, the root cause analysis of accident. We have discussed about the importance of accident investigation and we had a discussion of uh, three models related to the accident incident etc. In the subsequent module, we will discuss these models in detail. Thank you very much.